Hello everyone. Yes, today I am armed to the teeth. That's right, today I'm I'm going to be joining a battle. I'm going in. So, what'll it be then, do you think? Uh, uh, spearman? Uh, no, obviously, I've no spear. Well, the knife? The, the, no, no, it's not the knife. I mean, nobody goes into battle, you know, into an ancient battle armed with the knife. I'm hardly going to, you know, approach a, a massive ancient army arrayed for battle with hundreds of skirmishers, thousands of archers and massive pipe blocks armed with this. I might, someone might shout, Look out! He's got a knife! And I think they'd do it somewhat laced with irony. No, 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 no. I'm a slinger! But you can see that, can't you? Because, you know, I've got slings on me. I'm carrying slings. No, no, I am. What, you, you thought this was a headband? No, 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 it's a, it's a sling. It's a sling, you see? It's a sling. And, oh, this, this isn't a belt. No, 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 this isn't a belt. It's a, it's a sling. You see, and this is how um, ancient slingers would generally carry their slings. Uh, history rec records this. Their headbands were slings, their belts were slings, the straps on their bags were slings. Anything that could be a sling might as well, while they were at it, be a sling. Uh, it's good to have several spare slings. I mean, it'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it, if you ran out of slings for some reason, someone nicked your sling, your sling broke. Um, but also, there's a, another reason for carrying more than one sling. They would carry short slings and long slings. Now then, um, they have two different purposes, and um, one of the questions you're likely to be asking, I imagine, is how long is a long sling? How short is a short sling? Well, appearing on your screen now is a formula that I derived for working out the correct length of a sling, where L equals the length of the sling. But for those of you who are less mathematically inclined, I'll uh, try to explain it in different terms. You see, the short sling is useful for slinging forwards straight at targets that are fairly near and um, where you've got a reasonable chance of picking off your man uh, if you want to be uh, powerful over a short distance uh, at a target um, where you're shooting on a fairly flat trajectory you want to use a short sling and another thing is if the, the enemy is nearby you want to be able to sling very very quickly so you're going to use one of these uh, you get your, get your stone out of your, out of your belt pouch bump, stick it into the sling and I'm not going to do it, I won't do it in here and uh, away you go um, how short is a short sling? Well, if I stick the stone in there and I stand like this, I'm ready to go. I can now sling. And off it goes. Mm, missed. Um, but um, if I have a long sling, I can't do that. Because with a long sling, you see, I get the sling uh, ready. I put the stone in the sling and I go like this. And oh, you see, the end of the slings just touched the ground and the stone's rolled out. So that's, that's not very useful. Okay, so with a long sling, uh, I'm not ready to sling straight away uh, like that. But there are various things I can do, and I'll be making another video about technique um, another time. But uh, just for the moment, the, the principal distance with, with a long sling is that uh, I have to start with the, the sling high, and usually I will whirl it round a few times, and by this method keep it off the deck, and whew, then I'll sling. And with a long sling, I can sling a lot further, but of course, less accurately. But then, at very long distances, slings weren't brilliantly accurate anyway. You're aiming at formations of troops, not men in those formations. So there you go, you got your long sling, you got your short sling, um, and you would carry a number of them about you and um, wear them as day-to-day -day apparel. Bye.